Romans chapter 12, 11 through 13, and we're going to finish out what we were talking about yesterday when it comes to behaving as a Christian. This is behaving as a Christian part two. Um, Romans chapter 12, 11 through 13 says this, says that we should not be lagging in diligence, but we should be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer, distributing to the needs of the saints and giving to hospitality. So I'm going to break this down in the Greek and I'm going to give it to you in, um, of course, the Greek, but I also want to give it to you in a way to where you can understand exactly what the scripture is saying. When it says not to be lagging and diligent, it says this, do not be slothful in eagerness when it comes to doing things for the Lord. When the Lord is ready for you to do something, he says, do not be slothful, meaning slow. Mm -hmm. but be, do not be lagging, but be diligent. We don't want God to be lagging on our behalf. Amen. And he definitely doesn't want us to be lagging on his behalf. Doesn't amen. he? Amen. 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 You amen. said, amen. Oh amen. my amen. Lord. A day. The, amen. A, amen. A day. The, okay. Why so, are you messing with me? Well, you said it. So we're not going to be slothful. You changed this thing. Because I should be able to go like, anyway. So, um, not lagging in <laughs> diligence. It's driving me crazy. But also to be fervent in spirit. You know what this means? It means to be hot mm -hmm. in God. Yeah. To be fervent. The word fervent there means hot. So, we are to be hot in the things of the kingdom. Hot in the things of the Lord. So, don't wait and be slothful when the Lord is speaking but earnestly go with all diligence, be intentional in everything that you do, be fervent in spirit. Now here we go, mm -hmm. serving the Lord. Romans chapter six says that we are no longer slaves unto sin, but we are now slaves unto righteousness. Yeah. But it also goes and says that we are no longer, um, we, we are sons and daughters that have been adopted into the yes. body of Christ through the spirit of adoption. So we are to be adopted, righteous, slaves unto righteousness. So he says here, serving the Lord, we should be serving the Lord with righteousness in everything that we do. Goes on, it says rejoicing in hope. I love this. Are you excited with confidence, with anticipation of what the Lord is about to do? That's it. All right. Don't be slothful. Be earnest. Okay. Don't be slothful in, don't be slothful in eagerness, but do what the Lord tells you to do. Be hot in the Holy Ghost, be a slave under righteousness, and be excited with confidence and anticipation. So we are excited yes. with confidence that God's going to do something incredible because we have been patient in tribulation, which means waiting for wisdom through yes. storms. Waiting for wisdom through storms. Waiting I for wisdom it. through storms. I love it. So if I am waiting for wisdom and I am patiently enduring the tribulations, I am waiting for the wisdom of God through the storm to get me through the storm and, and the practical things on what I need to learn and understand so that I never have to go through that storm again. Yes. Then he says, continuing steadfastly in prayer, which means intentional consistent communication, mm -hmm. intentional, consistent communication. Um, we don't want to just show up talking to the Lord on Sunday morning. We want to talk to the Lord every day with consistent, intentional conversation with him, that. speaking to the Lord every single day, communicating. This is what builds relationship. Amen. Amen. Hey, Davey. Amen. Okay. <laughs> then we go into the next one, distributing to the needs of the saints. Here we go. Giving to believers. When the Lord has blessed you mm -hmm. with whatever it may be, and God has given you resources, he says to, to distribute those resources to the needs of the saints. Mm -hmm. Giving to believers. Blessing believers, blessing churches, blessing the five-fold ministry, blessing apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, okay? What we are not doing is paying their expenses. No, we're blessing in order to be a blessing based upon the word of the Lord by the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. so that we can receive the blessing God has for us. Then it says given to hospitality. You know what this means? Hospitality, 
means being an intentional. It's intentional again. To bless others in an area that you want to be blessed. Mm -hmm. Giving to hospitality. What's hospitality? Davey asked me a while ago, baby, do you need a cup of coffee before we start? I said, I'm good. I don't <laughs> need one. That's hospitality. Hospitality is, are you ready to accept somebody when they come to your home? Are you ready to accept somebody new when they come into your church? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to receive them? That's good. Paul says, if you're going to behave like a real Christian, don't be a sloth, be hot yes. in the Holy Ghost, be a slave unto righteousness, get excited with confidence and anticipation of what is coming, go through the storms and the trials waiting for the wisdom of God, be intentional and consistent in your relationship and communication with God, give to the believers as God has given you the excess, and be sure to be hospitable with everyone that you come in contact come with. Come on. Amen? Amen? That's what it means to behave and live as a child of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. There's your P-Wad for the day. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. You want to put me in there? You're good. Am I good? Mm -hmm. I, wow, praise God. This is a good word. Y'all share this, tag this, get this out there. Go ahead and apologize to everyone for the technical difficulties that we had at the beginning. I'm sorry. I am going to get on Amazon and order new equipment <laughs> right now because apparently the we little- We wore that thing out. Apparently, well, it's like five years old. Apparently the little device that holds it, that keeps it from drooping has given way. So <laughs> we're gonna replace that this weekend. Hopefully it'll be here by Monday. If not, Chris is gonna hold this on Monday and we'll just know and go from there. But we thank you guys. Each of you that partner with this kingdom assignment, we cannot thank you enough. The link is already provided there. Um, go to our bio, however, whether you're watching on YouTube, Instagram, Partner with this kingdom assignment, chrisbrooksministries.com forward slash partner. When you partner with us, you help us advance his kingdom. Chris was telling a story at the very beginning, a testimony at the very beginning about a woman's life who was changed five years ago as a result of Chris just sitting in a particular seat and witnessing to her and ministering the truth of Jesus to her on an airplane. Well, the Lord did it because he, um, the first flight, I missed it. Because my flight was landing as my other yep. flight was taken off. And so God set that thing up for me to be there to minister to her. God set it up. God right. set up. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. For you are blessed in the city and blessed in the field. May the Lord richly bless you. Amen. According to his riches and glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare the best is yet to come over your life. And remember that. If it doesn't challenge you. It won't change you. <laughs> Bye.